Hello again, this is Plus A Precision, and today we're going to talk about um, the replacement of my forward position on my lead screw. I don't know if that's the proper term or not, but anyhow, this gear is off my Sheldon lathe. I've talked about that in a previous video, and uh, there's significant wear on this gear. You can see the teeth, they're pointed kind of like a sprocket and less like a spur gear. Um, so today what I want to do is I want to be able to get all of the dimensions off of this gear and then we can get a gear, hopefully, that is of a similar size um, as far as the hub goes, as far as the diameter or the through hole, the board hole of the hub, obviously the number of teeth, the pitch and pressure angle, and I doubt we'll be able to match the material, which probably is a good thing. I think this is a bronze, some type of a hard bronze material, but obviously over the life of this lathe, um, it's kind of failed. So. We'll get started, we'll try to capture all the dimensions that were needed to uh, shop for a gear. All right, first things first, this gear was mounted this way through the assembly arm that controls the forward and reverse of the lead screw. Um, so the offsets here, this depth from this face to this face, that's something that's important. Uh, I don't really know how important from this face to this face is other than where the oil screw goes. Obviously um, this bore is important see because there's the oil screw but I don't really think that this face to this face is, is extremely critical. But we'll measure it up and we'll see what we got. All right, I guess a good place as any to start measuring is we'll just check the bore. We'll see what we got on the bore. Okay, let's see, what are we getting? We've got half of an inch, and we are at... ...650, so we're at 5... ...565. A little bit over possibly a little over 565 now um, let's check both sides of this here and we are at 650 right there 65 actually 565 check the other side and you can see we are at 570. 570 on the bore. And the shaft, we have 560 and 560. 
Well, that's roughly a 916 hole. And I do have a 916 reamer. Let's see how that goes. That goes in the hole. A little bit of slop. So uh, maybe reaming is a possibility. Maybe we'll have to bore it. All right, let's keep track of that number. All right, some other things we are going to need are the rough outside dimension which I don't know how accurate this reading is going to be because of the wear on this gear but I mean we are at one inch nine twenty five nine twenty six See, that one's a little bit bigger. So that one's 1 inch 930. One inch 930. All right, now the width of the gear is just less than half of an inch. Four fifty seven. And four fifty seven, four fifty eight. Four fifty seven, four fifty eight. Let's mark that down. All right, let's get a few more dimensions. Um this hub diameter looks like it's at oh about 870 and again I don't think that diameter is really critical it just has to match up to the other mating surfaces and this hub diameter is 890 maybe a hair over all right hey this is plus eight precision this is the end of part one Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave any comments down below. Thanks for watching.